afternoon. I pray that God bless your families and everything that you touch. I want to say something to you that can give us hope and give us comfort. As you can see, then let's just where to cast our cares. You see, we have so much on our minds and plates today till we sometimes worry, we sometimes fret, we sometimes feel like giving up, we sometimes let the pressure get to us, but there's someone we can go to, to cast our cares upon, who can do something about what we're going through when we go to him he won't tell sally sue and mary a john a john henry and and joe we're talking to somebody who can actually do something about what we're going through his name is god You see, God cares for us like a living father. I never experienced that with a father. But there's one person who's always been there for me, and that's God. When my father wasn't there for me, God was there for me. So I'm speaking from experience to know that God will take care of us. Even at times when we don't feel like we are being taken care of. Just think about times in your life when you have felt overwhelmed. Felt like you were not going to make it. But somehow, somewhere you came out that thing. Somehow, some way, you were able to endure the pain and the pressure. The first scripture is First Peter 5 and 6. And it says, Humble yourselves therefore under, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. You see that he may exalt you in due time. That means bring you up. That means lift you up. When Peter was walking on the water and he began to sink, he cried, cried, Jesus, help me. And Jesus reached out his hand and he lifted him up. You see, when we humble ourselves for God, we submit to his power. Positive things happen in our lives. The next scripture is First Peter five and seven. And this and this and this scripture that I'm coming from. Cast your cares upon him. For he cares for you. He cares for us, y'all. You know, when I was driving, I would say, Lord, let me find a parking place, parking parking place close to the exit. Now I find one. God cares about every aspect of our lives. Just know that. God is a loving father to us. He is not a deadbeat dad. Like some of these men that have children. 
then they say they're not theirs and they neglect them. Well, God does not neglect us. God take care of us even when we are disobedient. Even when we are hard-headed. You're going the wrong direction. He will actually deliver us from that, from, from our misguided mistakes. So I say to you and me, let's cast our cares upon the good Lord and Him only. Now I'm not counseling out the, the, the psychologists and the and and the, and the doctors, but they should not be our main source of comfort. Our main source of comfort could should be the Lord our God. And then and, and, and with their help. And with the Lord leading and guiding us, we can overcome anything that comes in our lives. Because in my lifetime, I've been misused, abused. But one person has always been there for me, and that's been the good Lord. So let's cast our cares upon the good Lord cast your cares upon the Lord you know all the Bible we see people who have cast their cares upon the Lord and ask Daniel ask Joseph ask Job ask Elijah ask Noah, ask Paul, ask Timothy. They'll say, yes, the Lord will be there for you if you cast your cares upon him. And look back over your life and experiences you've gone through. And just, and just think about how, how, how you were not supposed to make it out that thing but somehow somewhere you did God is so good to us every morning we wake up we can breathe that's not a chance every morning we can every morning every morning we wake up we can see and hear and smell that's not a chance God is so good to us He's a loving father, as I said. A loving father. A loving father to us. Let's cast our cares upon our daddy. Our, um, our father God. And if we do that, we'll be okay. We may go through some rough spots in our lifetime. But we, but, but, but we will know that we have the God going before us. And that assurance can give us the strength and the power and the word to, to push forward through that so-called hard time. So I say to you and me, let's cast our cares upon the Lord God. Let's cast our cares upon the Lord God. Because he is the one who is going to support us. And help us to overcome this obstacle, this wall, this this challenge in our lives. So I say to you, cast your cares upon the Lord God. And He will, and He will. Bring you out in his time, not in our time, because sometimes he's preparing us for something, for something greater. So cast your cares upon the Lord God, and he will deliver you and me. Have a great day. I pray that God will bless, bless your families, and if you don't know Christ, 
get to know him. He's the best friend that you can ever have.